Hello sunshines, my name is Mariah Rosie and welcome to today's little art talk thing. So today I'm just going to be going ahead and inking some different sketches of characters and objects from the show Full Metal Alchemist and I will also be talking about a couple different things related to the sketches and whatnot. So yeah, let's get right into it. So yeah, I am doing something a little bit unusual and that is drawing people. So these are actually just some head studies I decided I wanted to do. So I have been watching Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood lately and let me tell you the show is amazing. I absolutely love it and it's probably going to be my favorite anime and show of all time because I love it so much. But while I was watching it, I decided that it would be such a cool idea to draw these characters to study and learn from them. So I don't really know how to draw people at all. I never learned really how to. I only know a little bit of the fundamentals and stuff like that um, from art class and just me dinking around here and there. And yeah, I just never learned how to. So as an artist who, you know, knows what she's doing for a yeah, majority of the time, there's a lot of stuff I don't know how to do. Um, not being able to draw something this big, like people, is very annoying because there are a lot of ideas I have that would be perfect for human characters. So yeah, I want to learn this year how to draw people. It's my New Year's resolution and I'm going to follow through with it. So this year the only things I have done when it comes to learning how to draw people is I've studied noses and I've also studied um, eyes. That's about it. I haven't really done anything else. So in order for me to get more into learning how to draw people, doing something stylized and from something I love was a great way to prompt myself to get to learning. So I kind of came up with something while I was doing this, and that is modifying the way you learn. So everyone learns in a really different way. Um, some people learn best in classrooms from somebody else. Some other people uh, learn best when looking at someone else doing their own thing. You know, there are so many different ways you can learn. For me, I like to learn from other people, watching other people and testing out what other people are doing. So I decided, okay, I don't really like drawing um, very realistically and that's what a lot of people and teachers will tell you to do and I already kind of know how to draw semi-realistic um, when it comes to people. The only things I don't really understand are hair and lips. So I was like, you know what, I just don't know how to put a face together properly. So this is a great way for me to have a good time and to also learn. And let me tell you, it actually worked splendidly. I came away from it and I decided to draw my own character and I learned a lot actually. I was like, hey, here's how you do the skull and how you put a face together and how the hair works and everything like that. And I was like, dang, like this works wonders. And you know what? It might not work for you. You might have a different way of working and stuff like that, which is great. And everyone has just some other way of learning something. This is how I learn and definitely how I'm going to learn even more. So I'm definitely going to sit down and just draw a lot of different characters from other people and stuff. Now, I think the important thing here is to not get into the habit of like, oh, I, I drew this thing in somebody else's style, pretty much. Um, I basically just took screenshots and drew them myself. The important thing is to take these different things you learn and apply them to your own style and to create things from you. You definitely don't want to get stuck in drawing somebody else's style or something like that if you're going to try and experiment and learn this way. 
So this is how I am going to probably learn a lot and how I have learned, especially in the past, is looking at other people and how they work. So definitely something I did that was very positive and amazing and I'm just really excited because I know learning this way for me will definitely kickstart a lot of good things and will just ease my way into being able to draw people for myself, which will be awesome. I'm, I'm very excited. All right, let's talk a little bit about something else, and that is getting out of your comfort zone when you are getting bored or unmotivated. So I didn't actually realize that I needed to do something different so badly. I tend to do the same thing over and over when it comes to my art subjects and what I do. I do a lot of animals, characters, um, pretty much the same environments over and over. Um, occasionally I'll go ahead and do something completely different but um, and stuff like that, but I, I do explore a lot in what I do. Um, in fantasy and surrealism and stuff like that. I do explore a lot in that, but I never get out of my comfort zone to do anything like this. So I didn't realize that I was actually starting to get bored and kind of unmotivated with my artwork. And doing this entire exercise with these characters, I was like, dang, I didn't realize that I was actually like this. So I kind of got into a grind of just like, I gotta just do this artwork again. Think of a new idea in the exact same field again instead of trying something completely new. Doing new things is scary a lot of the times and you're kind of afraid that you're gonna mess up and stuff like that. But let me tell you, it's really important to learn new things, to get out there and just have fun. And once you actually start doing something different, it's not that bad, actually. It's a lot of fun and it's able to kind of broaden your horizons and your outlook on artwork and everything like that. At least that's what happened to me while doing these characters especially, so it was so much fun to do something different and now I'm definitely more motivated to go ahead and try new things and to create some new artwork that no one has ever seen before or even me before so it should be a great fun experience so yep I'm just about done with these sketches and I actually after I got this entire video done I went back in and made everything with shadows and stuff like that so I didn't film it if you'd like to see that entire you know drawing slash sketches or whatever make sure to visit me on my social media um, and make sure to go ahead and check me out on all of my shops to get some artwork for yourself and make sure to also subscribe for more videos like this one and if you have any suggestions for future videos make sure to leave a comment below. I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye bye